Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are developing a report based upon the new syntax. So firstly, we develop the report in which we have not used the join. Now we are developing a report in which we used the join. So we have written the query. So our data is into this internal table and this particular query is totally based upon the new features of open SQL. Now what I will do, I will create a field catalog and we will bind that data with the field catalog because you all know ALB is the process is output is same to same which we are covering. So what I will do from the previous program, I will copy the code of your field catalog. This is our field catalog internal table. Now I will simply create a field catalog using value operator. And that is very useful. Value operator is very, very useful. So we created the field catalog of six column. Now these particular text symbols will not be available into this program. So I will copy paste from there in the same from the same program. Go to text element text symbols. I will simply firstly activate up to this level. I will go for go to text elements. How you can copy all these things? You all know control Y. Control Y is for yank. You will get this kind of symbol. You can simply select control C and now you can de control B. Now I will simply simply activate. So our data is into this internal table. Our field catalog is into this internal table. Now we will simply, simply display the output. You all know you can call the function module through pattern. So what is the function module? Reuse ALV grid display. Now I will simply uncomment exporting your field catalog. I will uncomment the field catalog parameter. What is field catalog internal table? LT underscore field cat. Now I will simply put the data. Our data is in which internal table? LT underscore output. Now we will simply uncomment the exceptions as a part of best practices. I will activate this particular program. So our program is ready. Now we will understand in the debugging mode, are we getting the expected output? And based upon that, I will come on to conclusion also. Suppose I will go to VPAK table. I will display this table. I will go to contents of the table. Suppose I'm putting the date, suppose 20th August to 22nd August. Okay, I will not take 21st August. I will take only 20 and 22nd August. Then I will come on to 21st August. Suppose I'm going for 20th August and 22nd August. So I will put the two dates, 20th August and 22nd August. Twentieth August and 22nd August. Now, if we will go for these two dates only, So total, we will get total 
six records from VBAK table. For these six records, we'll check in VBAP how many records. 71 to 76 sales document number. I will do control Y. I will go for this and I will paste. So total we have eight records into this. It means our output will consist of eight records because we are going for inner join, inner join. Inner join means it will display the matching records between both the table. And we are going for a perception currently. Whatever is the sales order in VBAK, compulsory we have the item data of that sales order. So we will get total eight records. So if I will go for this, I will put a breakpoint. I will go for execute. Suppose I will put 20th August and 22nd August. I'm going for two dates. I will go for execute. I will go for desktop three. Yes, anyways, it is by default set there. Now I'm simply, simply going for this input. You can see, but the input we passed this 20th August and 22nd August, we are not taking 21st August and language is English. I'm doing F6. Now, if you see this internal table total, we got eight records. Yes, you can see this sales order number 71 to 76. We have 71 to 76. Yes, from VBAK table. Now for this six sales order number, we have how many records into VBAP table? Total eight records. And have you seen there's no data loss, nothing. Because we are going for inner join and we are going for a perception that yes, whatever the sales order is there, item data is compulsory there. Now this is the item numbers we are getting from MAKT table. These are the material numbers and these are the material description. If I will show here, suppose from VBAP, suppose if I will put this material numbers into MAKT table. MAKT table. If I will go there, if we will put the material numbers and if we will put the language because we are going for system language, you can see that what, what is the description for 492, for 42 material, the description is steel. You can see the steel. For 134, the description is your test for test for. Now for 492, this is FG material for testing. Tool. Yes, because we have this particular sales order numbers. We have the material numbers. Yes. So this is the corresponding description. Now, if I will simply, simply go forward. So this is your field catalog. So our field catalog ready. So our field catalog of six column ready. Our data is ready. Now we are simply displaying or we are simply displaying the data in the form of ALD grid. And you can see we have the expected output. It is working fine up to this level. Now we will go for next scenario. Anyways, maximum projects. Yes, whenever we are creating a sales order, item data is always, always there. So we will always, always write the query into this way. But we need to cover a, another part also for this. Suppose if we have a specific customer or specific thing is there for header data, item data is not compulsory at the initial level. Suppose I'm going for 20th August to 22nd August. Suppose I'm simply, simply going for the program. Those are very rare scenarios for the customer. Suppose I'm going for 20th August to 22nd. But we should understand each and everything because permutation combinations can be anything. 
if basics are clear, we can write the logic in any way. Suppose I am going for 20th August to 22nd August. Now check into this VBAK table from 20th August to 22nd August, how many records are there? I will go for this 20th August to 22nd August. Yes, we have the range. Now you can see total we have seven records. But how many sales orders are matching with VBAP? If I will go for VBAP. In this VBAP table, now I am putting the seventh sales order number also. This is 117, which is of 21st August. Now, if I will execute, you can see 117 is not in the item table. It means 117 is in VBAK, but 117 is not in VBAP table. But you have put an inner join. You have put an inner join here. So if you will go for inner join, 117 will never come in the output. Suppose if I will do F6, you can see in LD output, we have 117 is not in the output. If I will simply execute, 117 is not in the output. If customer is saying, no, it is not mandatory that the item data is there, but it is not coming in the output, then in that case, we cannot go for inner join. Anyways, it's a very rare scenario because the maximum products work on that only that for whenever we are creating sales order, item data is always there. So in the next video, we will cover that part, how we can handle for 117. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, we have written the logic to create a field catalog. After that, we simply call the function module, reuse ALB grid display, and we understood the output in the debugging mode. But I'll just pass the program name. This is the, sorry, I think I'm passing a wrong program name. I'll just check again. This is that one. So after that, what we did, we have simply, simply understood the output in the debugging mode. So firstly, I showed you for the dates for which we have the sales order for which the header data is there and item data is always, always there. Firstly, we go for a perception that whenever we are going for sales order, item data is always there. So we have put the inner join, no problem, everything is working fine. And in maximum projects, this is the scenario, yes. But now we have the second case also. Suppose there is a customer who is saying it is not mandatory that for a sales order item data is always there at the initial level. So in that case, your inner join will not bring that particular sales order because inner join always, always bring the matching record. So in the next video, we will understand how to handle that particular part. So that's it in this video. Thank you.